Well, there's a number of ways you can do this question. Um, you should realise you've got the hypotenuse and you've got the opposite in a right angled triangle. So you're trying to find the uh, opposite side and you might well know that hypotenuse times sine of the angle will equal the opposite side. So you can drop the hypotenuse in, that's 32, times sine 60 degrees. And then use your calculator to finish. Which gives us uh, the number you see in the calculator display I've just inserted onto the screen. Now, I want to be around it to three significant figures. So that's going to be, well, if we look, the first three figures are 27.7. The fourth figure is a 1, so that's not going to round me up. It's going to leave me at 27.7 centimetres. If you weren't quite sure where I got this uh, formula from, which I started with, I'll quickly show you that the formula at the front of your uh, examination paper will, will tell you that sine, sine of x equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So when you find lengths, Especially when you find the, the opposite side and you've got the hypotenuse, you simply bring your hypotenuse to the other side of the equation to get the equation that I used. So hopefully that's clear and you can get these marks in the future.